Well, I guess we should quickly bask in the never-ending salt bath that is news about Twitter and Elon Musk, because it's now reached the point many hoped was coming, as Elon Musk himself states he's going to bring Trump back. I guess the answer is that I, 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 I would reverse the perma ban. I would say I'm not, I don't own Twitter yet, so this is not like a thing that will definitely happen, because what if I don't own Twitter? Yes, that is Twitter HQ right now, alongside most of the Twitter right, crying a soy latte drinking eyes out, because Orange Man Bad will be allowed back if Musk takes over, that is. Of course, it should be noted that Trump actually said he wasn't coming back regardless, but I'm sure the salt will still flow. As to whether he does or not is another thing altogether, but personally I kinda hope he does, because you know me, I love a good salt mine when I find one, which let me tell you what Musk says here is gonna do that. Well, uh, I think there's, there's a general question of should Twitter have permanent bans? Um, uh, permanent bans should be uh, extremely rare and really reserved for uh, people where they're trying to, uh, for, for accounts that are uh, bots or uh, spam scam accounts, uh, where there's just no legitimacy to the account at all. Um, I, I do think that uh, uh, it was not correct uh, to uh, ban Donald Trump. I think that was, that was a mistake. Now, based on what Elon Musk actually said there, it is possible that most, if not all, accounts who were banned in recent years could be reinstated, which will once again create floods of salty tears we can all look forward to bathing in. In fact, this will literally bring about 2016 levels of salt production from blue-haired tosspots, media fuckpigs and lefty politicians the world over, so we better get ready for that one, guys. But for now, I think I'll leave it there, so remember to let me know what you think down in the comments section as always. Subscribe if you ain't already, and check out my website that's linked in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires and that is why Britain is leaving and it doesn't matter which language you use we are going and we are glad to be going we're off <laughs>